Welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're diving into the essential tools for any 5M QB core server, the installation and setup of PSMDT and PS Dispatch. These scripts have become staples in the 5M community, widely recognized for their functionality and seamless integration into the QB core framework. Virtually every QB core server utilizes these free scripts to enhance their in-game job roles, making them among the best and most sought-after resources available. Whether you're a seasoned server owner or new to the scene, understanding how to implement and optimize PS Menity and PS Dispatch is crucial for running an efficient and engaging server. I'm here to walk you through every step of the process, ensuring your server benefits from the full potential of these scripts. So let's get started and see why these tools are regarded as indispensable by the 5M community. To kick off this thrilling enhancement, make your way to the GitHub download page for both scripts showcased in the video. You'll find the links conveniently located in the video description, ensuring easy access. Upon reaching the site, download each package individually and then proceed to unzip the files. Afterward, copy and paste the contents into the server repository of your choice. To keep everything organized, consider renaming each folder by removing the main suffix. Now let's delve into the configuration of the PS Dispatch script. Opening the config file, you'll find several customizable options that can significantly impact how Dispatch operates within your server. Key adjustments include the respond keybind, open Dispatch menu, which allows you to set the specific keybind for opening the dispatch menu, offering flexibility to align with your server's control scheme. Another important feature is the option to require a phone for making 911 calls. This adds a layer of realism to your server, ensuring that players need to have an in-game phone to contact emergency services. Additionally, you can specify zones where shooting alerts won't be triggered, such as hunting areas and shooting ranges. This prevents the dispatch system from being flooded with alerts in places where gunfire is expected and part of the gameplay. With the dispatch system set up to your liking, it's time to shift our attention to the MDT, which is where the bulk of our customization and setup efforts will be concentrated. Dive into the MDT folder to begin the integration process into your 5M server. The initial step involves exporting the SQL file to your database. Simply open the SQL file with your database management tool and execute the query. This foundational step ensures that the MDT system is properly integrated with your server's database, laying the groundwork for further customization. Next, navigate to the shared config within the MDT folder. Here, you'll encounter several key configuration options. Bill variation. Setting this to true will enable the system to automatically deduct fine amounts from a player's account when a ticket is issued. This feature streamlines the process, ensuring fines are promptly and efficiently handled. Inventory and fuel settings. Customize these settings to match your server's inventory system and fuel script. This ensures compatibility and seamless integration, allowing for a more cohesive gameplay experience. Google Docs roster. If you utilize a Google Doc for maintaining a roster of your law enforcement personnel, you can insert the link here. For now, I'll leave this option blank, but it's a great way to keep your team organized and accessible. Additional police jobs or impound. This section allows for the inclusion of extra police jobs or impound functionality within the MDT. Tailor this to fit the specific roles and services available on your server, enhancing the depth and realism of your law enforcement operations. The remaining configuration options mainly pertain to charges, permissions for using the MDT, and other system settings. While it's generally safe to stick with the default settings to avoid potential lag issues, feel free to make minor adjustments to better suit your server's needs. With the database and initial configuration out of the way, it's time to delve into setting up extra features for the MDT. First, the implementation of a self-weapon registration feature. This system allows players to officially register their weapons, thereby enhancing the sense of responsibility and realism in our virtual community. The necessary code snippet for this functionality is readily available on our Discord. Simply copy it, head to your server's QB directory, open the QB target folder, and then the init file. Here, locate the config circle zone section, paste the snippet as illustrated in the video, and save the changes. This action activates weapon registration zones across your server. Moving forward, 
set up for incorporating a system for mugshots and vital logs, adding depth to the server's role-playing capabilities. Open the MDT folder, navigate through the server folder, and access the main file to integrate the mugshot feature. For this, go to Discord, select the channel of your choice, and visit its settings. Here, following the integration prompts to create a webhook, customize its name to suit your server's theme, and copy the webhook URL. Repeat the process for clocking in and incident logging functionalities. To further enhance the functionality of our 5M server, we're looking into automatically adding weapons to the MDT system, complete with serial numbers. This integration is essential for maintaining a comprehensive and detailed record of all in-game weapons, significantly improving the realism and efficiency of law enforcement operations within the server. First, check if your server's inventory system already includes this feature by navigating to QB inventory slash server slash main. It's possible that this integration might already be in place, given its utility and popularity among servers. If you need to add or verify this feature, proceed to copy the relevant line of code from our GitHub repository. Upon locating the line in the GitHub repository, compare it with your server's current setup. If the export functionality for PSMDT isn't present, or if you're aiming to update your system, simply copy the code from GitHub and paste it into the specified section within your QB inventory slash server slash main file, as shown in the tutorial video. Next is an optional feature to our 5M server, enabling officers to send automatic messages to dispatch during a pullover, detailing their location and actions. This enhancement relies on the Wolf Knight Plate Reader script to facilitate seamless communication between officers and dispatch, adding an extra layer of realism and efficiency to police operations within the game. To set this up, start by copying the necessary functions from our GitHub repository. Next, head to your server's files and find the Wolf Knight script. Open the CL plate reader file and use the search function to locate the specific area where the new code will be integrated. Once you've identified the right spot, return to the copied code and paste it just above the function you found in the CL plate reader file. This prepares the script for the new feature. Then, take the second block of code from GitHub and using the search function once more, Find the appropriate place for this main piece of code within the script. Paste it in as instructed to ensure it melds perfectly with the existing setup. The last step in implementing this feature is adding it to the server's radial menu. This inclusion allows officers to access and use the dispatch messaging system effortlessly, enhancing their ability to communicate effectively during traffic stops and other operations. To integrate a new feature into the police radial menu on your 5M server, open the radial menu's config file and search for the police section. Head to the 11th selection or locate the emergency button. Then, grab the necessary code snippet from my Discord and paste it into the config file as demonstrated in our tutorial video. This quick update enriches the police functionality, enabling efficient communication directly from the radial menu. To incorporate fines and citations as items in your 5M server, start by accessing QB core slash shared slash items. Then, head over to GitHub, copy the item code provided, and paste it into the items list. Placing it under COP tools or a similar category ensures it's logically organized within your server's inventory system. For integration into the inventory interface, navigate to QB Inventory Sagetmelja AppJs. Look for the item marked bill to use as a reference point. Once found, copy the relevant lines from the GitHub repository and paste them just above the marked bill item. This placement ensures that the finds and citations appear correctly within the inventory UI, making them accessible for law enforcement officers to use during gameplay.
To access the MDT in your 5M server, simply type slash MDT in the chat or use the keybind K. Once you're in the MDT, heading to the profile section allows you to search for individuals by their first name, offering a comprehensive view of their past interactions and records. Creating a new incident is straightforward. Click on the plus sign, input the criminal's name, and proceed with the necessary actions, whether marking them as wanted or guilty. You can add charges by right-clicking in the specified area, select the charges, and then save the entries. The MDT also enables you to directly send individuals to jail, and these actions are immediately reflected in their profiles, enhancing the server's law enforcement procedures. While this video won't cover all features in detail, it's worth noting that every incident logged in the MDT is also recorded in the Discord log, ensuring transparency and easy access to records. Toggling duty status on or off is also tracked in the Discord log, providing a clear record of duty times. Additionally, during a traffic stop, officers can immediately alert the dispatch team through the radial menu under work and then traffic stop. Alerts are also generated for vehicles without a license, facilitating quick action. Toggling off duty displays the total on-duty time, offering insights into officer activity. Another significant feature is the ability for everyone to register their weapons at the police department. This function, along with others, comes set for default IMAP, so there's no need to worry about compatibility issues. These enhancements to the MDT and related systems not only improve the realism and efficiency of law enforcement operations, but also foster a more engaged and interactive server environment. That wraps up our walkthrough on utilizing the MDT system within your 5M server, covering everything from accessing the MDT, logging incidents, to integrating real-time actions with Discord logs. This tool significantly enhances the realism and functionality of law enforcement operations, offering a detailed and interactive way to manage incidents, track duty times, and even handle vehicle and weapon registrations. Thank you for joining me in exploring these features. Your engagement and feedback fuel our journey, pushing us to uncover and share more ways to enrich your 5M experience. If you found this guide helpful, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. Your support is greatly appreciated. Stay tuned for more updates and tutorials designed to elevate your server to the next level. Until next time, happy gaming, and remember to keep your server experience engaging and immersive for all players. A quick update on our Discord community. The Exquis, previously a separate entity within our main Discord, has now been integrated into a single unified platform. I'm thrilled to introduce Coden, our dedicated 5M developer hub. With over 650 active users and developers, Coden serves as a vibrant space for those seeking assistance and those eager to lend their expertise. In an effort to streamline support and collaboration, I've restructured the Discord to cater to specific frameworks, making it easier for members to find the help they need. Additionally, I've set up forums where I'll be sharing my latest videos directly, ensuring you have hassle-free access to new script links without the interruption of ads. A extra user forum also provide a space for members to exchange free scripts, request videos on specific topics, and we also have developers who create custom vehicles and Vinewood logo sign from scratch. Coden is not just a hub for sharing knowledge. It's a community where creativity and collaboration thrive. We're also on the lookout for moderators to help maintain a supportive and engaging environment. So, if you're passionate about 5M development, eager to learn, share, or simply be part of an active developer community, Coden is the place for you. Join us and be part of our growing 5M developer hub. Your journey to mastering 5M development starts here.